Well, hello everybody. It's November 5th, 2022. Just wanted to take you guys around a little bit to show you how much snow is remaining in Big Bear after our first snowstorm. And great news, we have a winter storm watch in effect. It's pretty early for a big storm like this. So I want to show you guys real quickly what the winter storm watch says. Okay, winter storm watch in effect. So hopefully you guys have a second to look at that. Pretty close to our elevation where we could get a good amount of snow. So let me just, uh, super awesome you guys. So basically my elevation, we could get a foot to a foot and a half of snow. Oh yeah, guys. Oh yeah, this is awesome. I'll scroll through it slowly so you guys can read it. And then we're gonna go see how much snow remains in town. Very cool, very cool. And then also I wanted to do a shout out to this young man who's always wanting me to, to uh, shout him out. He seems super cool, he's got his own channel. His name is Boy Fame, right here, Boy Fame-ers Fom. I, I asked him how I'm supposed to um, say it and he said just like it's spelled but I don't understand. Um, but I'm trying to shout you out, young man. I hope people check out your YouTube channel. You seem like a very good young man. And anything I can do to help out, I'll try to help out. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, let's go. Let's go do this. Let me, uh, let me get ready to go. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Here we go. All right, you guys. So it's, yeah, it's November 5th, 2022. Uh, we're just gonna see how little snow remains in town, unfortunately. Doesn't even look like it snowed, huh, guys? This was from our first snowstorm of the season. Woohoo! So, also, you guys, at the very end of this video, I'm gonna put uh, a, a, like a 40 second clip to show you guys what colors the beanies are and stuff because a lot of people are asking. And uh, yeah, if I could get rid of some of those, that would be great. <laughs> they're not cheap, but they're freaking amazing. I got the idea from my Gucci beanies. So, they're all like this 100% fine merino wool, just super, super bomb stuff. But anyway, we are here to check out how much snow is left, not talk about beanies. Anyway, we do have a good snowstorm coming in, you guys. Um, it's obviously gonna start off as rain, like a lot of our big storms do, because a lot of our big storms tap into the subtropical jet, and uh, we get that subtropical moisture, which is usually significantly warmer, and that usually hits us ahead of the cold front. So because of the elevation we're at, unfortunately, we're not gonna get, uh, like, for instance, if we were at Mammoth's, Mammoth Lakes elevation, then the whole storm would be snow and it would be probably another foot or two of snow. But unfortunately, it's gonna start off as rain like it usually does. I wish we were another 1500 feet up, I really do. Anywho, so here we go. Um, we are definitely uh, excited up here. I know some people aren't and it's shocking to me. Some people actually really complain about the snow and I find it to be hilarious and uh, for the reason that they moved up to one of the littlest towns in all of Southern California. The only town really that gets snow besides Wrightwood and Lake Arrowhead and stuff. And so I just find it somewhat amusing that people actually complain about it. Um, I don't, as you guys know, I love it. But yeah, so this is, this is what's going on. We're just gonna do a, a quick run through the village and stuff like that. We're not gonna do too much of a tour, but this is where most of you are gonna be staying anyway when you come up here or spending a lot more time kind of driving through this area where I'm gonna be taking you guys real quickly. I didn't want this to be too long of a video. I just wanted you guys to see what is going on in terms of how little or how much snow we have left. It depends if you're a cup half full person or a cup half empty. I'm a cup half full. So this is how much snow we have left. Even though I know I just misspoke earlier when I said how little snow we have remaining. <laughs> so maybe I'm a cup uh, two thirds full. Or <laughs> anyway, super excited. I got my snow tires on. I'll put the little clip of that on the video as well. Um, it'll be at the end with the stuff, the, the information about the beanies. I got them put on yesterday. I can't even remember what they're called, but it's from a, a tire company called Wrangler. And I think it's called like the Arctic Claw. The Claw! The 
Claw! So it's the Arctic Claw, folks. This coffee shop right here, a good friend of mine, Chris, just a wonderful man. He owns it. It's the best coffee. I'm telling you guys, it is the best coffee. I've, I've told you guys about him before. He's such a good dude. Um, he goes through some serious, serious medical stuff. And my goodness, he's got the most incredible attitude. Every time I'm around him, he's so positive. It it literally brings tears to my eyes. And I have a hard time holding back the tears because he's he's such a special person, such a special man. And I, I really have a lot of love and respect for him. So I'm going to try and stop these videos at the red lights. Hang on. All right. So there we go. Here we go. It's turning green here. We have a lot more. Oh, uh, you know what? For some reason, I was thinking it was a weekday. For some reason, I was going to say, wow, we have a lot more people up here during the week. It must be for the next storm coming, but it's only Saturday. It's only Saturday. S-A-T-U-R-D-A-Y. A-S-A-T-U-R. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm just really excited. I get excited about this stuff. I get excited about this stuff. Holy moly. I I hate to kind of be a little bit pessimistic because I, I really feel like uh, it's probably not going to happen, just like usual. I don't know if you guys remember, at one time last season, like up to a, like 12 to 15 hours before the storm, they had been predicting so much snow and even that close to it actually having an impact on us they were saying we could get four feet of snow in the upper moon ridge area so that would have meant like three three plus feet down here and it didn't we didn't get anything like literally nothing not even a dusting it completely passed us it went just to the north i can't believe it though but that's what happens here often it's uh i mean but what a great job it must be to be a weather forecaster in Southern California because you can be wrong majority of the time and still make a good living. I like to show you guys with, with our own eyes what's going on at the time. and um, I try not to use too much hyperbole, but it does come out. Anyway, we are headed into the village right now. I forgot to turn off the camera. All right, so this is the place I like to stay, the Robin Hood Resort. This was one of the first places when I would visit Big Bear that I would stay after my mom got rid of her house in Lake Arrowhead when I was a kid. Because we used to go up to Lake Arrowhead and then spend time in Lake Arrowhead and drive to go skiing from there. We would never stay here because we had a cabin there. So, anywho, the village is looking pretty packed at the moment. I don't know if this was the best idea to come through here, but it'll give you guys a sense of what's going on up here. As you can see, there's really no snow left. And uh, by tomorrow, it's gonna be completely gone. I guarantee that. Maybe not at the highest elevations, but, or the spots that don't see a lot of direct sunlight. But you know what? I'm, I'm kind of enjoying that type of snowfall where it'll snow and be really cold while it's snowing and then uh, within a couple days all the snow is gone when i first moved up here i wanted it to just become a deeper and deeper snowpack but now that i've been here almost eight years i, I of course i still love the snow you guys don't get me wrong i mean geez louise it makes me so happy but at the same time it's i'm glad when it's uh um melted away and then waiting for the next storm and, and you guys do yourselves favors up here too. Um, when you're even in the village, when you're at a crosswalk, don't just assume everyone's going to wait. Okay. Don't, don't, don't just assume everyone's going to wait for you guys. You guys want to see they They don't even pay attention. And, uh, yeah, don't assume drivers will wait, please. I don't want anything to happen to you guys. Um, please pay attention. There's so many people. Uh, who are just a, totally oblivious, um, which, you know, I don't blame them. They're on vacation trying to enjoy themselves, but getting hit by a car is not enjoyable. And I want you guys to be safe.
sometimes locals for some reason don't they aren't too thrilled with tourism and once again you guys please understand that you guys mean everything to me like everything to me without you guys i don't get to live here i mean and that should be like a very obvious and humongous reason why you guys should be loved so much you know because you guys come up here and inject our e economy with finances and keep it so we have jobs up here and stuff like that so it's just super super cool and yeah i love you guys and i want nothing but happiness and joy for you guys I, that's why i try to give you guys all the shortcuts and sometimes i get messages from locals who are very angry with me because i'm helping you guys out and uh you know i get i i i get pretty upset back when they're just so ignorant and especially arrogant about it most of the people are super good people up here guys don't get me wrong but um yeah you, you know i've had a few questions from you guys asking about <clears throat> why they don't like tourists and for me it's it's just shocking to me i i, I think it's just a very kind of a a selfish attitude and they don't need to have a selfish attitude because once again we'd have to live down the hill and no offense to that i grew up in newport beach and lived down the hill for eight years or i lived up here for eight years but i lived down there my whole life um yeah it's 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 we are grateful for you especially me and I get to do these videos and get to make you guys feel happy and safe and it makes me feel really good. I love you guys tremendously. Like I, I really wish you guys understood how much I really love you guys. You guys are all my brothers and sisters without a doubt. There's no question about it. So thank you guys for actually coming up to our town and gracing us with your presence because you guys are very special. So enough of that. Let's finish looking at how much snow is left. What a, I mean, what a beautiful town. Even when there's a little bit of snow left, it's, it's still just a beautiful town. And obviously we, 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 we like to try to keep it that way. One thing that's unfortunate um, is once the snow melts after the season, there's so much trash underneath where a lot of the snow was and that's a bit discouraging and disappointing but I know that's not you guys on this channel but yeah if, if you know I'm <laughs> I'm not trying to be a pain in the butt but if like any of you are just walking down the street and you see a piece of trash or something I know it's it's not yours but if you're feeling willing to pick it up and toss it in the trash can that would be great because this is all of our little getaway, you guys. Everyone in Southern California, this is all of our vacation spot. Even though I live here, this, this, is, our, this is all of our home. Just because you don't get mail here doesn't mean that it's not yours. This is your guys' place. This is for you guys. And yeah, just as I said, there's, there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of garbage, um, especially when you see how the, how the ground looks after the snowpack is melted. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's horrifying sometimes, but yeah, thank you guys for being so loving of our town and picking up after yourselves and just enjoying yourselves. I want you to come up here and have a blast. I don't want you guys to have any issues. Come up here and just take that load off and enjoy yourselves. And I'm always here for you guys. When you're in town, hit me up and I'm totally happy to help you with whatever you need. I'm super thankful for you guys. Oh, by the way, that's the bowling barn. I've been there twice in eight years, and bowling is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. <clears throat> anyway, I know I'm very talkative. I always am very talkative. But it seems like when I'm in a good mood, especially when we got the winter weather coming in, especially when it's a winter storm watch or a winter storm warning, that's the happiest for me. Those are, those are the biggest warnings. Also a blizzard warning or a, a blizzard watch is also insanely awesome for us, for the potential. So the difference between a winter storm watch and a winter storm warning. So the winter storm watch will always be applied first. And that means that it could happen that, the, that uh, 
there there is potential for a big amount of precipitation and so when they feel like it's a pretty good chance they'll say winter storm watch and then as we get closer within the next day or two um, if it's looking more imminent then it turns into a winter storm warning which is always what makes me so happy because it's typically going to always happen at that point um, <laughs> so the winter storm warning means that conditions are favorable and it's imminent or it's already happening and occurring as we speak um, so yeah it's uh let's just hope that we move forward to the winter storm warning Man, I, I really wish I could shake every one of your hands. I really do. I'm so grateful for you all. And by the way, I, I hit my gas the other day or yesterday for the first time. I like punched it. Holy moly, this car is so fast. It's got a turbo on it, guys super fast and look at there's the horsies <laughs> yeah they're gonna they're gonna horse right by us hey quit horsing around quit horsing around my friend oh it's so beautiful The guy, the captain of that horse buggy that uh, just waved to us. You guys, as I said, like don't don't let a couple bad apples make you feel not wanted up here or 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 whatnot. It's uh, those are the people you don't want to associate with anyway. You know they got their own things going on in life, and and God bless them. We hope they're okay. We hope they're not suffering, but. Um, yeah, just you guys come up here and do you. And as I said, I will always be here to support you guys. No question about it. I, I will always be here for you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're back on Big Bear Boulevard. What I was thinking about doing is just so you guys can kind of see what some of the side streets may look like. Once we get up here to Knight Avenue, we'll, we'll, we'll take the back streets all the way back to Moon Ridge. So let's say that Big Bear Boulevard right here, what we're on is super backed up because of snow and just lots and lots of traffic. Um, there's plenty of shortcuts, you guys, and I'm gonna give you one right now. So let's see where, okay, the next street after this is called Knight Avenue. We're gonna turn right on Knight. Usually I would take you guys through this back way um, from the village, but we're gonna do it from right here. So this is Knight Avenue, basically across from Taco Bell and next to Bell Blower Ski and Board Shop. And we're gonna take this up to a street called Pennsylvania and make a left. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Kind of sad, huh? How quickly the snow melts. I, because I've had I've received so many questions from you guys or statements regarding, hey, I'm gonna be coming up tomorrow on Sunday. I hope there's a lot of snow. Should we bring our sleds and stuff? And I just hate saying, my gosh, I wish, you know, I try to explain that unfortunately we don't have much snow left. And it's really sad for me because I know a lot of you work during the week and it's hard to get up here on the weekends and um, or just any time. Um, so unfortunately, of course we want you up here, but I don't want you guys to waste your time. If, 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 if we're not getting any, if we're not going to have the snowfall on the ground that you guys want, um, yeah, maybe some other time come up, especially after Monday and Tuesday. Well, 
Monday night is when it's supposed to change over to snow. It's supposed to start on Monday as rain, as I said, but it's gonna ch change over to snow Monday night. And then Tuesday, we got about a potential for over a foot here, like right where we're driving right now. And uh, yeah, it's, it, should be, it should be clearing out, if I recall, on, on Wednesday. But let me just double check that, you guys. Let me just double check that. I'm paying attention to the road. I promise. I don't want any more accidents. I don't want any more accidents. So yeah, it'll be clearing out. Uh, we shouldn't have any snow at all on Wednesday, um, but we are gonna get hammered on Tuesday, you guys. So brace yourselves and get your butts up here. Book a place to stay. During the week, you guys, it's cheaper, less expensive. And uh, yeah, there's not gonna be as many people up here. So if you have the ability to come up here during the week, I would suggest that you get up here uh, probably the latest I would suggest you guys even making an attempt is, is, is Monday morning. And then I'll Monday morning quarterback it. <laughs> it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. It's going to be a winter wonderland, you guys. Everything's going to be so transformed. It is so exciting. All right, so now we are... <clears throat> Coming up to a street called Wren. We are on McWinnie right now. Sorry, I've, I haven't been mentioning the street names every time. But now we're gonna come up to a street called Brownie Lane. And we're gonna turn right on Brownie Lane. So from Wren, W-R-E-N, you turn right here on Brownie Lane. Big Bear Boulevard is that next street right down there. And you'll still see some, some patches of snow, guys. For instance, you can see these little areas over here on the right hand side probably don't get a lot of direct sunlight because of all all the trees um, so wherever you have a shadier spot you're you're not going to get snow melt nearly as rapidly um, as the other way around for instance if we went to the north shore part of the lake the sun beats down on that side non-stop so there's nothing left over there i mean absolutely nothing looks like summertime over there where those hills are beyond, uh, I don't know if you can see them through the trees back there, but where those hills are, yes. They're way at the top, there might be a little bit left, but as far as it's concerned on the ground, there's absolutely nothing. This house, a bunch of fighters train here. That big old house right there. That would be the wrong place to uh, go start something, I'll tell you that. <laughs> So now we're coming up on Summit Boulevard, folks. This is where Snow Summit Ski Resort resides. It's a very family-friendly ski resort. Bear Mountain, our other one, is more of the party atmosphere, doing crazy things on your snowboard, stuff like that. But you can still charge over here at, at, at Snow Summit. They both get so packed, though. It's, it's for me, after doing this for so many years, it's just not fun for me. Um, to ever go on the weekends skiing um, or for that matter after a snowstorm during the week during winter time because uh, it is so packed you might get a, just a few runs in all day long it's 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 horrible it's horrible but you know what it's so much fun though this parking lot right here is a satellite parking lot for snow for snow summit so this is one of the major extra parking lots that they have. And I'm telling you right now, guys, when we have good snow, it is always packed. All of our extra parking lots are always packed. And that's the parking lot that I choose to do donuts in often. All right, so now we are at Moon Ridge Road. That's where Brownie Lane ends. And if you kept going straight, it turns into Moon Ridge Way. All right, so let's do this. We're gonna head back into Moon Ridge and I'll say bye to you guys right now. I just wanna take you on the main route that most of you will take most of the time to see how much snow is remaining. And unfortunately, it's not much, but um, get ready for the next, uh, next, next few days. It's gonna be amazing. Love you guys a lot. Take care and I'll talk to you all later. Hey okay, guys, <laughs> these are the beanies. So I'm gonna post this short little video for both of the, or for a lot of my future videos. But yeah, we've got 
all black. These are all 100% fine merino wool. Different color patches on some of them too. Just absolutely stunning these are. Stunning, you guys. As I said, we got 96 of them. Boom shakalaka. So yeah, so these are these are the colors we've got. Hope you guys enjoy them. Love y'all.